Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought's Taskmaster. Time to come up with another challenge, or rather, time to execute on another challenge. This one is a sort of sequel to I did one I did two weeks ago. Admiral Jeremy Clarkson is back. Speed and power on battleships were ambitious, but rubbish. Admiral Clarkson's discredited idea has been discarded, and Admiral May has decided that instead armor must be the key. The enemy battleship has Admiral of the French Navy, Admiral Richard Le Hamon, aboard. If you sink his ship, you win immediately. The fastest to sink Hammond is the winner. So sink the enemy battleship. But we have some build restrictions. Admiral May wasn't known as Captain Slow for nothing. Your ship can have a maximum speed of 21 knots. Clarkson was of course wrong. Protection is key. Your ship must have as many protective features as possible. Maximum bulkheads, maximum torpedo belt, spacious crew quarters, reinforced bulkheads, uh, maximum flash protection, etc. And, as you might have guessed, I've done this properly. Your ship's armor, which means main belt, deck and turrets, must be able to resist your own guns at a range of 15 kilometers. Holy shit. Your main armor, so that's main belt and main deck, and turrets. That's a lot. That's a lot. So this poses the interesting design question. Are you going to go with big guns or are you going to go with small guns? Um, there is something to be said for both. Because with small guns, you can have less armor on your ship. With big guns, you're also going to have to have a really, really heavy ship. All right, let's first... Um, let's make this a big, fat battleship, especially since we're not going anywhere. Uh, yeah, almost almost 70,000 tons. Pretty nice. Maximum protective effort. That's anti-torpedo protection 3. Triple hull bottom. Citadel. Interesting question. Um, what is considered maximum armor? Is that considered turtle back or is that all or nothing? This is the most efficient. This is, arguably, because it's sloped armor. Um, it gives you more resistance. Especially effective in close encounters. The thing is, I'm not that likely to have a close encounter as I'm only doing 21 knots. So let's go for the um, Citadel 5 and all the anti flood. I need to have maximum spacious quarters. There we go. Okay. Main tower. And secondary tower. Should I go for the compact? Something smallish and tinyish. Uh. Wait, 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 wait. Your main belt, deck and turrets must be able to resist your own guns at a range of 15 kilometers. What if I go for the weird build again? What if I go for the weird build that has the guns amidships? Because then my deck armor, my belt armor, they're all relatively small. That's the plan. I don't think I need a whole lot of funnel on this ship. Okay, maybe a bit more though. Give me. Oh, we can. <laughs> we can go turbo electric drive. That should be funny on this ship. Because it's going to allow for fast maneuvers. Okay. Smoke interference. Negligible. Right then. Right then. Electric turning. I can go 16 Mark 1. What about, what about, what about, what about, it's all Mark 3. Oh, we got 9-inch Mark 4. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. See, this is a very light armament. But if I am to improve the amount of fire starting capability on these things, so fire starter shells, picric acid, uh, super heavy shells for even more fire chance, super reloaders. Yes, 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 yes. I might have an option here to deal substantial amounts of damage. And since these things, oh, you can cheat your ass. Well, I mean, not cheat. I mean, you can adjust your ass off here. Um... Here's my plan. My ship needs to be able to sustain its own AP 
your own guns at a range of 15 kilometers. So if you're to go for cap ballistic shells, that means at 15,000 meters you need to have at least 18 inches of armor. If I go for semi armor piercing, <clears throat> that number drops to 7.5 inches. Of course, of course I'm going to have more armor than that. But with these shells and these guns, I should be able to at least pump out a lot of volume of fire. Is it... Oh, please say yes. Is it possible? Oh, yes. This is precisely what I have in mind. This is exact... Okay, we're gonna need smaller ones. This is exactly what I would like. Just small, small, please tell me that fits. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, another one. You move your ass up. Up. Another one. Another one, another one. Yes, 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 yes. This is what I'm going to do. We're going to augment these with a very substantial secondary battery. Like that. And we're going to make these essentially the same. Give me longer barrels, give me longer barrels. Yes. What do you mean pitch is bad? Fuck off, your pitch is bad. Okay, um, now I need to have at least... At least seven and a half inches of armor on the main deck. Okay. 7.5. On the main belt, check. And on the main turrets, check. Uh, 7.5. Oh, that's as low as it'll go. Or as high as it'll go. So now I can add 20,000 tons of armor. Now that's a lot of armor. <laughs> so this reloads in 22 seconds. This reloads in... 20 seconds? Oh, it's a Mark IV. Yes, that's the deal. It's a Mark IV. So we're going to have super firing 9 inches, And then a secondary battery of these 8 inches. Although 8, this gives me a range of eight, 18 clicks. This is 23 clicks. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, we're going to need more armor than this, people. We're going to need 20 inches of four belt, 20 inches of aft belt. Okay, maybe not 20. Uh, 12, 12, 15... 15, 50, whoa, I'm surprised that even fits. Um, give me six, six, and six. The ship is slightly overweight, go figure. 13, too much. What makes this thing so heavy then? 10 and 10, no, still too heavy. Main deck, probably the main deck. Probably the main deck, but... Yeah, I got more than twice the amount of armor that I need. Your main deck, de uh, main belt, deck and turrets must be able to resist your own guns at a range of 15 kilometers. I can resist my own guns, and I'm not counting armor quality, I'm just looking at the flat values. I could probably withstand my own shell at any range. So that's really nice. Give me five and five. Give me the main deck on 14. We're getting there. She's a bit heavy on the bow, though. Um, give me seven. Make that twelve. Make that six. She's a bit heavy on the bow. Pitch is not really that good or that bad. Uh, interior Citadel armor. Make that two and one and two and one. Ship slightly heavy. Otherwise fine. Is Cordite the best propellant for me? Muzzle velocity is high, shell damage, less flash fire chance. Yes, that sounds like a plan. And maybe an auxiliary engine and a better shaft is probably a good idea to have. Because this thing is going to need to turn. 500 meter turning circle. 382. There we go. Okay. Chasing these targets down is going to be fairly difficult. Because I don't have the speed to do that. This thing is really quite slow. There we go. Now I'm considering blending these secondary guns with a couple of... Uh, yeah, maybe threes. So I can deal with the destroyers adequately. At least swiftly. 
Yes, right on the bow. Here, here. And come on, you should fit on the stern. There. Perfect. Perfect. Can we add more? Yes. More is better. Here too. Here we go. Wow! I didn't add that much weight to the bow. 15% weight offset? That's pretty ridiculous. Are there any additional slots on the stern? Because last time around, those DDs did me in. Then again, that's when I didn't have the armor. There we go. Now I am too heavy on the stern. Surprised these small 3-inch weights are moving the needle. But okay. Reduce some of the aft belt. Bit more. Bit more done. Okay. Probably one of the weirder craft I've built lately, but currently that's not even a metric anymore. So, these guns fire every 3.2 seconds. I am not going to make them longer or shorter. These are fine as is, and they will help with fire starting capabilities. When it comes to the main turrets, I carry 420 shells per turret. If I cannot burn down the enemy battleship with this, then I don't know what I can use to do that. As for these guys, these are the elongated um, 8.9s with 20% longer barrel length. Once again, check, 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 because I only need to withstand 7.9 inches of armor. I got more than that on the main deck, I got more than that on the main belt, and I got more than that on the turrets. There's really not that much more that I can assign armor to. There we go. Okay, diddly squat, round two, let's go. Enemy lineup, 1 PB, 4 CAs, 2 CLs, and 6 DDs. They're somewhere off to the north. It's definitely a squat ship, alright, that's for sure. Ugly ass boat. I need to stop coming up with these designs. I mean, they're funny and they work. They're just a bit irregular. Ow. Oh, no, wait, I got armor. Screw you and your shells. Is that gonna just ricochet off of the deck? Like, the whole time? I would be very much in favor of that. Also interesting to note that I think my stern has more guns than my bow. With all those overlapping twos and threes. Hello! 19 clicks out, huh? Have I got news for you. Really? The superstructure is pretty heavily armored at 11 inches. But these 14.3s are doing damage. Now everybody shoot HE. This is what we're gonna do. Stop it! Seriously. Stop it. I'm supposed to tank you. Yeah, that's more like it. Okay, we got 3.3% chance to hit. And the 8.9 should start blending into the fight fairly swiftly. There goes the secondary gun. Sea state. Barely neutral. Come on. We gotta sink Mr. Hammond. Yes. First fire set. May be the first of many. What are you? You're a small boy. Okay, I'm going to have to eliminate this small boy first, because I'm concerned that he's going to run into me and torpedo me. So, secondaries, do what you do best. Primaries focus on the battleship, secondaries focus on the DD. Alright, your torpedo range, we're inside of your torpedo range. Lovely. And I got my rudder damaged. Please. Uh, we'll stop. Gas turbines make sure that I stop really quickly. Did you just sink already? This is why I want to stop. Roll back emergency. Beep, beep, beep. There we go. Nice torpedo salvo. Shame if the ship suddenly decided to start changing direction. Okay, we're good. Why are you not dead? 
Okay, tell me about you. What's the battleship? Battleship Carnot. 55,000 tons. 25 knots. Standard bulkheads. Interesting. 15 kilometers out, give or take. Somali. Mécanicien principal l'instant. These are tough destroyers, though. What the hell? Eight and a half thousand damage and you're still here? That's pretty impressive. Anyway, maybe I should just ignore that thing. And just flat out go for the battleship. And maybe the three inches can do something useful. There's a lot of torpedo shit being thrown my way. All back emergency. Oh, that's not great. Forward. I think we're about to test our torpedo blister. No, 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 no. Boink. One dud. Stop. We're gonna have to eliminate some of this small shit, because it's getting on my nerves. Forward. <laughs> oh, the way that you can just dodge torpedoes by stopping the ship. It's like World of Warships. Only worse. Yeah, at this point I don't care about your torpedoes anymore. I do need you dead, though. Everybody fire armor-piercing. It's a lightly armored... Well, not that lightly armored. Light cruiser. Kill it! Uh-oh. That torpedo just suddenly decided to start thinking all for itself. No! I'm surprised I'm taking this much damage. The 14 inches are doing most of the damage. It's not really the fire damage that's killing me. Oh, come on. Can we torch it then? Nine and a half thousand damage on the light cruiser. 13,000? What the fuck? Hmm. I'm just getting torped again. And again, there's more. I do see a problem with that BB getting out of range. Another issue is, this is not even the target. I don't need to kill this CL, strictly. Just that I'm trying to kill it as quickly as possible, because it keeps lobbing torpedoes at me. Half a percent alive? There. That's 100% dead. Okay. Um, give me the mains and the Carnot. How much armor you got? A lot. Seriously, they can't build a battleship for the life of them in the campaign. And then you do Taskmaster and then you get this? Oh, that's not great. Yeah. Okay, there's, there's the plot armor. This one's gonna miss. That one's also gonna miss? <laughs> okay. It's fine. We're alive. Just have one engine that's not fully functional. All the guns on this. Including the 8s. I need to torch it. And at this rate, I won't have a platform left to do it with. Sad thing, I cannot use the 3s and the 2s on the different target. Because it told all the secondaries to go for the crown, though. Problematic. The Vu is out of torpedoes, so you're just a nuisance. Kabil. Out of torps. Not sure if she already launched. I suspect she did. Come on, overwhelming fires. That's what I need. Extensive fire issues. Fine. Dodge it. We have two fires on them? That's it? Wow. 
rather underwhelming. What's doing most of the damage? Yeah, it is the 14 inches. It is the 14 inch gun. And because I have taken so much damage, I have a damage instability of about 43%. So it's proving to be quite difficult to keep this thing as a firing platform. Because she's just fairly badly damaged. I suspect it's going to continue that way. Why is everybody and their mother packing torpedoes? That's annoying. Uh oh. Full stop. Fourteen percent chance to hit. I'll take it. Damage instability is forty-five percent and still growing. Have we lost eight inch guns or what? We lost one. We lost one 9-incher. I think the 3s and 2s are largely intact. It's just a lot of shell fire. Hold on, they are coming in range, almost, of the 3s and the 2s. That's remarkably kind. Namaluk still has torpedoes. We might still make it happen. Even as we are reversing go forward, because the ship is slower to accelerate than decelerate, it feels like. Well, not by much. Four fires. Maybe I can have their crew surrender? I just hope that I can pump out enough high explosive shells to burn them down entirely. They're down to 15% crew loss. been hit 1100 times. We're out of torps. Leopard still has two. This is just not going fast enough. Five fires, 18.9% crew lost. I'm on 26 and a half myself. 20%. Can you pen this? Yes. Quite well. Destroyed secondary gun. Slowly but steadily, the number of fires is going up. Twenty-two percent crew lost. Twenty-three. Keep pushing. We might have them. Just gonna take a while. Is the veteran crew? No, it's a trained crew. Feels like a veteran crew, the rate at which they're putting out the fires. You got reinforced bulkheads by any chance? Yeah, reinforced too. Okay, that's causing a lot of issues. Is that is not great. Pull back emergency. Thank you. Dot torpedo. Okay. You're not smart, you gotta be lucky. 61% structural, 25% crew. We got spacious, spacious crew quarters. Shit. So their ability to control their damage is really good because they're not likely to run low on crew, which can snowball the number of fires. Got a nose down to 56, 26 percent crew lost. It's not going fast enough. Stop blowing up secondary guns. Two percent structural. No. Thank you. Plot armor saved me. The torpedo deflected at their last possible moment. You're out of torps. You can fling torps and you can reload in what? In two minutes. No, four minutes. Great. Okay, diddly squat. It's uh, gonna be imperative to start dealing damage faster. And uh, we're not really going to be able to do that. We've been hit 
over 2,000 times. And at this rate, I don't see us setting enough fires. I don't see us eliminating the main tower either. What's your armor like? Half a percent on the superstructure, or half an inch on the superstructure. Torpedo. Got two damaged engines. It's not helpful. Go broadside. Need more guns on target. I can't pen this with the nine inches. Not enough pen. Please tell me you're not in range. You're not in range. Good. That's good. Got no 45% structural, 28% crew loss. Even if I was to switch targets now and hope that I can eliminate the rest of these guys quickly, it probably wouldn't matter. Because then the 14 inches from the Carno are just going to take me apart. Also, we got 31% crew loss. Which is not going up as quickly as the Carno. Carno is losing crew faster. But it's still not good. Why are my guns not firing? There. 1200, about 1300 damage done by fires. 30% crew lost. Come on. Punch a hole in them. Flood them. I don't care. Well, this is starting to take hold. It's starting to add up. I'm down to 31% structural, 91% buoyancy. You can probably quite nicely pen me now. Yeah, 50-50% chance to pen. That's not good. Oh, but this is good. This is looking really promising. Let's go slower. This is looking really promising. I might have them. Destroyed main tower. That's less good. Also, I'm running low on high explosive shells for the 9s. The 8.9s still have a lot of ammo. Oh, come on. Just a few more fires and your ship will fall. My ship is not looking very well. It burned. Not good. Come on. There's a whole part of your midships that's not burning. Allow me to change that for you. And lost 32% of the crew. They've lost 34 and a half. More fires, yes. They're starting to lose so much crew now that their main guns are becoming less effective. I need their their control to go down. Not their main guns. This is not working as intended. 25% structural. 19 shells? Right. No, they're putting the fires out. Okay, you're gonna go AP. Nines. Who knows, maybe we can actually damage them. By accident. Maybe their superstructure. Blowing up their main tower would be very welcome. Destroyed main gun? Would you not? Not that I have a lot of ammo for them, but still, I appreciate having a main tower. 36% crew loss, 36-7. Full pen? Really? 37? Bone ship, 32. Oh, hello. This is, uh... Uncomfortable. Because this is gonna torp me, isn't it? Yeah, point blank range. Fuck you! That's problematic. 37-9. Oh, they're going to jam a torpedo right down my throat at 700 meters. There it is. And it was a dud. And that was another dud. Got a lot of 1920s torpedoes. Just about as reliable as Boris Johnson. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't ram me. Don't ram me. Come on. The only option I have now is 
Is that another torpedo hit? No, it's another dud. It's just killing off the crew. That's the only thing I see happening. 15% structural on the deadly squad. 14. They're down to 39.7 crew loss. Come on. Everything you got? You? You can go bother somebody else. I don't want your torpedo. Thank you. That was two torpedoes and I'm flooding. I'm at 8%. I've lost 40% of the crew. Come on. More. I need 5%. Just go to 45% crew lost. All I need you to do. Switch to high explosive with the secondaries. I've still got surprisingly three 8.9s left. Full pen. 41. I got 5%. No, 4%. Is this going to be one of those clutch victories for the French again? 41 5. 3%. 2%. No, I'm not going to win this. Unless something miraculous happens and I do a lot of damage or they get a flash fire. I don't see either happening. I'm down to 1%. Point 0.5. And they're down to 42% crew loss. Oh, it's not good enough. I've been hit, what? Almost 6,000 times. I've been hit by 9 torpedoes. There you go, structural damage. Uh, these fast battleships and slow battleships are just not... Not my forte. Regardless, the Diddly Squad did do an okay amount of damage. She dealt 39,000 damage. She only took nine and a half, so her armor scheme in that regard was effective. It's just that she could not output enough fire damage quickly enough. The French battleship did take a lot of damage. She did not come home without a scratch. She was reduced to... 43% crew loss. <sighs> yeah. Oh well. No win for me. But maybe the other guys do get this challenge completed. So check out Brother Monroe. Check out Spartan Elite. The link's down below in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you soon for more videos.